In physics, the Planck length, denoted p, is a unit of length that is the distance light travels in one unit of Planck time. It is equal to 1.616229 times 10 minus 35 meters. It is a base unit in the system of Planck units, developed by physicist Max Planck. The Planck length can be defined from three fundamental physical constants, the speed of light in a vacuum, the Planck constant, and the gravitational constant. Value The Planck length P is defined as P equals G C three Display style L underscore mathem P equals SQRT FRAC HBAR G C carrot three Solving the above will show the approximate equivalent value of this unit with respect to the meter one P approximately equals one point six one six two hundred twenty nine thirty eight times ten minus thirty five M Display style one L underscore Mathem P approximately one point six one six two hundred twenty nine thirty eight times ten carat minus thirty five Mathem M where C Display style C is the speed of light in a vacuum, g is the gravitational constant, and h is the reduced Planck constant. The two digits enclosed by parentheses are the estimated standard error associated with the reported numerical value. The Planck length is about 10 minus 20 times the diameter of a proton. It can be defined using the radius of the hypothesized Planck particle. The Planck length is represented by a Greek letter lambda, lambda. History In 1899 Max Planck suggested that there existed some fundamental natural units for length, mass, time and energy. These he derived using dimensional analysis, using only the Newton gravitational constant, the speed of light and the «unit of action», which later became the Planck constant. The natural units he further derived became known as «the Planck length», «the Planck mass», the Planck time and the Planck energy. Topic: <theoretical>, Theoretical significance. The Planck length is the scale at which quantum gravitational effects are believed to begin to be apparent, where interactions require a working theory of quantum gravity to be analyzed. The Planck area is the area by which the surface of a spherical black hole increases when the black hole swallows one bit of information. To measure anything the size of Planck length, the photon momentum needs to be very large due to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and so much energy in such a small space would create a tiny black hole with the diameter of its event horizon equal to a Planck length. The Planck length is sometimes misconceived as the minimum length of spacetime, but this is not accepted by conventional physics, as this would require violation or modification of Lorentz symmetry. However, certain theories of loop quantum gravity do attempt to establish a minimum length on the scale of the Planck length, though not necessarily the Planck length itself, or attempt to establish the Planck length as observer invariant, known as doubly special relativity. The strings of string theory are modeled to be on the order of the Planck length. In theories of large extra dimensions, the Planck length has no fundamental physical significance, and quantum gravitational effects appear at other scales. <laughs> Planck length and Euclidean geometry The Planck length is the length at which quantum zero oscillations of the gravitational field completely distort Euclidean geometry. The gravitational field performs zero-point oscillations, and the geometry associated with it also oscillates. The ratio of the circumference to the radius varies near the Euclidean value. The smaller the scale, the greater the deviations from the Euclidean geometry. Let us estimate the order of the wavelength of zero gravitational oscillations, at which the geometry becomes completely unlike the Euclidean geometry. The degree of deviation zeta display style zeta a geometry from euclidean geometry in the gravitational field is determined by the ratio of the gravitational potential 
phi display style var phi and the square of the speed of light c display style c zeta equals phi c 2 display style zeta equals var phi c caret 2 when zeta 1 display style zeta ll 1 the geometry is close to euclidean geometry for zeta 1 display style zeta sim 1 all similarities disappear the energy of the oscillation of scale l display style l is equal to e equals nu c l display style e equals h bar nu sim h bar c l where c l display style c l is the order of the oscillation frequency the gravitational potential created by the mass m display style m at this length as phi equals g m l display style var phi equals g m l where g display style g is the constant of universal gravitation instead of m display style m we must substitute a mass which according to einstein's formula corresponds to the energy e display style e where m equals e c 2 display style m equals e c caret 2 we get phi equals g e l c 2 equals g l 2 c display style var phi equals g e l c caret 2 equals g h b a r l caret 2 c dividing this expression by c 2 display style c caret 2 we obtain the value of the deviation zeta equals g c 3 l 2 equals p 2 l 2 display style zeta equals g h b a r c caret 3 l caret 2 equals l underscore p caret 2 l caret 2 equating zeta equals 1 display style zeta equals 1 we find the length at which the euclidean geometry is completely distorted it is equal to planck length p equals g c 3 approximately equals 10 minus 35 m Text style L underscore P equals SQRT G H B A R C carrot three approximately ten carat minus thirty five Mathem M as noted in for the space time region with dimensions L display style L the uncertainty of the Christoffel symbols Delta Gamma display style Delta Gamma be of the order of P 2 l 3 display style l underscore p caret 2 l caret 3 and the uncertainty of the metric tensor delta g display style delta g is of the order of p 2 l 2 display style l underscore p caret 2 l caret 2 L display style L is a macroscopic length the quantum constraints are fantastically small and can be neglected even on atomic scales if the value L display style L is comparable to P display style L underscore P 
Then the maintenance of the former usual concept of space becomes more and more difficult and the influence of microcurvature becomes obvious. Conjecturally, this could imply that space-time becomes a quantum foam at the Planck scale. See also Notes and references Bibliography Garay, Luis J. January 1995. Quantum Gravity and Minimum Length. International Journal of Modern Physics A10 145 ff. Archive, GRQC, 9403008 v2. Bibcode, 1995ijmpa.10, 145g. Doi 10.11420/s0217751x9500085. Topic: External links. Bowley, Roger, Eves, Lawrence, 2010. Planck length. 60 symbols. Brady Heron for the University of Nottingham.